Good morning. Acquiring land for personal or commercial purposes is one of life's most important decisions and the need for proper education on this cannot be overemphasized. Today on the Nigeria Property Show, we will be educating you on this and the various processes involved. I am Remyola Dendi. Welcome. of the experts. On the experts today we will be looking at a very sensitive issue and that is land acquisition, acquiring land. For various purposes people will continually desire to buy a parcel of land or parcels of land and for various reasons we have all had experiences where people have had a challenge or two about acquiring a parcel of land. Others even share their unpleasant experiences of buying land that had been sold previously to other people. Others are scared when we call the issue of land and that's because of the various chains of people that may be involved in acquiring that parcel of land. How do you go about this legally? To educate us on this today is Surveyor Olumedia Adewebi. Surveyor Adewebi is a land surveyor. He's a fellow of the Nigerian Institution of Surveyors and the current Secretary General of the Association of Professional Bodies of Nigeria. He will assist us in getting proper education on how to acquire land legally. You're welcome to the program, sir. How it's do a you beautiful remember? morning in Lagos. Oh, yes, it is. Now, you are a land surveyor. What exactly is land acquisition? Does it mean the same thing as acquiring land, purchasing land, buying land? Well, the first thing I'm going to tell any prospective landowner, anybody who wants to buy land, is you have to do your due diligence. Sometimes the land looks so beautiful and you're told that there are so many people on it, you're tempted to say, let me pay first so it will definitely be mine. That is where the catch is. Before you buy any piece of property, you first have to ascertain what you are being sold. Now, parcels of How land... How do you do this? How do you ascertain what you're being sold? Wonderful. The first thing is that you have to realize that you cannot take this decision on your own. Okay. You need to be educated. Okay. You need to be assisted. You need to be guided. So you're going to need the following professionals to assist you. You're going to need a lawyer. You're probably going to start off with an estate surveyor who actually shows you the property that's available. Okay. Then next thing you have to do is you move on to a land surveyor who is actually going to ascertain what you are buying. Exactly. I wanted to ask you, I, I erroneously assumed it's a land surveyor that will be telling one when it comes to buying land. In the first place, when one thinks I've saved up enough, I want to buy a parcel of land, where should one go? What should one do? For you to come up to the decision that you've saved enough, that means you have a general idea of what the going rate is in that area. The second issue is finding something available there. For example, let's take Ikoi. If you think you want a piece of land in Ikoi, you know how built up Ikoi is. You may need somebody to go around and actually find a place for you. So an SS surveyor comes up to you and he says, fine, I have these five, six properties to show you. And you actually show interest in a particular one. 
At that point, it will be advisable for you to bring in another professional, and that's the land surveyor. So what's the job of a land surveyor? The job of a land surveyor is to prepare for you a survey that actually tells you where your land is, what size it is, what dimensions it is, and what it feels like. Is it slopey? Is it high in front or high behind? All these are informations that other professionals that are going to work with you later are going to need. Now, let me add to that question, the one you just answered. Mm. It's normal for us here in Nigeria. That's our culture. Mm. It's informal, but it's our culture. That's how most people get their parcel of land. It's because somebody knows somebody who has that parcel of land that is up for sale. Not most people will go to sale, will go to for instance, say, I want to go to the Lands Bureau in Lagos State, Lobos State. I want to find out properly before I buy this parcel of land. Like I told you, if you want to buy land, be patient. That's the first thing. When you see what you want and you're interested in it, hold on. Get a surveyor to tell you the status of the land. This that you're saying, the, the proper way of doing things, checking up and getting planning information, is if that person goes through the normal channel to say that, I'll talk to a land surveyor. It's possible for you to inherit land. You can be gifted land. Before you develop it, you have to find out what the status of the land is. So it's important that you have your documentation is as important as your development, because that is actually what is going to secure your investment tomorrow. As you know, land appreciates every day. The more your land appreciates, the more other people will have interest in your land. However, what states your claim? What gives you claim to your land? It's your documentation. Now let me ask you this question. For those of us who are living, mm. we want to understand how significant is a survey? There are different types of surveys. But the surveys conducted for ownership are called cadastral surveys. That's a legal survey. That is a prerequisite for government granting you a title. It is also a prerequisite for government granting you permission to develop. Without your survey, you won't be able to complete agreements. That's agreements between the person who sold to you and possibly the person you are going to sell to. So before I buy any piece of land, the first thing I'm going to ask the person is, apart from how much he wants to part, he wants for it, what's next is, what kind of title do you hold to this land? For some people, the only title they have is, it's my father's land, it's our ancestors' land. A title in paper. Is a that title, what it's called? A title, title, a, title, title a title is your proof of ownership. For some people, all they have is a receipt from the person they bought from last. Okay. A receipt? A receipt will say, Remy bought two plots of land. The question is, the two plots being mentioned in that receipt, is it the one we are talking about? How do we prove that? Won't a receipt say, so 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 person bought these two parcels of land on the 15th day of July 2018. Yes. This piece of land at... It will say that. It will talk about the locality, but it's not specific exactly where. So which but particular document says... Where? Which particular document, um, you know, says this person bought this particular land and is entitled... The document that ties you to your interest and the land is the survey plan, your cadastral survey. Okay. The Lagos Government continues to pursue its infrastructural developmental plan, which spans across various years. Its government is a continuum in Lagos, and one governor takes over and continues, even modifies an ongoing project yeah. as population continues to explode. Mm -hmm. Now, when government says you can bring pictures you said we can inherit land. If I inherit land from my, from my dad or from my granddad, and I have pictures of that land dated, and if, if those pictures have been properly preserved, they also show that truly this particular, if my dad or my granddad stayed on that parcel of land to take those pictures, can they also be used in addition to the receipt when issues come up about compensation? That's for the courts to decide. But the question is, courts base their judgments based on evidence. The fact that you have land that doesn't have title documents does not stop you 
from perfecting the title documents for the land you acquire. How is this done? If somebody inherited land, yes. If you, if you, inher if you inherit land, land, if you inherit land and there are no title documents, the first thing you can do is have a survey conducted. You get a survey done. You get a lawyer involved to prepare an agreement to prepare a title deed for you. Then you make an application to the lands bureau to get a certificate of occupancy for the place. If I had bought land some ten years ago to my professional association. Like in a cooperative or something? Like in a cooperative, all which right. most people do. Okay. And then for some reasons, all the members, my colleagues have gone ahead to develop theirs. I probably just fenced mine, but I haven't been able to go there and do anything. There has not been any physical development. Oh, Is yeah. there a time limit to when one can keep that virgin land? It depends on what scheme you have. Like in most private land holdings, the agreement will actually tell you that you must build within two years. Even in government schemes too, they will tell you within two years or within a specific period. But you is must that feasible? Well, the reason is because of what you just said. People don't want people losing their property. So when you actually buy land, there's no hard and fast rule. In case it's a place where it is open, the important thing is that you must um, take possession. Taking possession. Why? Why should one take possession? You have to take possession because you have to prevent people from encroaching on your land. It's like having a farm and you have animals around you. So you put a fence to keep the goats out of your maze. You put a scarecrow to keep birds out of your rice. So when you buy land, even if you can't afford to build, try and put up your fence. Or you could also be, um, you could be practical. Put somebody on the land, let him use it on your behalf. When people encroach on such land, what, should, what steps should one take? The first thing you should do is approach the owner of the property and explain that he's actually crossing your boundary. Okay. He may not understand it, so you can actually have him, like, can we exchange survey plans? Is your surveyor around? My surveyor is around. The surveyor can come and confirm if the fence is actually eating into your land or not. When you've done that and you've shown him the evidence of that and he still does not agree, then you have to involve your lawyer. Can you go over what and what are the most important documents after one of purchased land? Okay, good. When you see land that you're interested in, get a surveyor to confirm that that land can be used for what you intend to use it for. Also get a surveyor to confirm that that land does not conflict with any current or proposed development by government. When that has been done, if it's land that already has a title, maybe the person already has a C of O on the land and he wants to sell it to you, get your lawyer or your surveyor to confirm that that C of O is genuine and that title actually exists in the land registry. When you've done that, you can now actually make a full payment on the land. Now, having acquired the property now, you'll have to change the titles to your own name. You know the land, the survey will be bearing the name of the former owner. Or where there is no survey before, it's a virgin land, have the survey bear your own name. Please, make sure you use a professional land surveyor. A lot of people, a professional land surveyor. A lot of people use land surveyors Probably because of the monetary issues, they don't use professional land surveyors. And also make sure that the survey you are giving is actually a proper survey. If the place has been surveyed before, have the survey title changed into your own name. Mm -hmm. That can be done. Your surveyor will advise you on how to go about that. Then, if you don't have a certificate of occupancy, but you can afford to have one, start the processing to get your certificate of occupancy. By the time you have your certificate of occupancy, your land already has a proper title. Now, generally, what's your message to the people of Nigeria? About what's your message to the Nigerian people? Land is a continuous need in our lives, and people continue to find ways to acquire this parcel of land or those parcels of land. I would like to advise people not to shy away from consulting the professionals that will assist them and guide them. Yes, you're going to have to part with some money, but I want to tell you, as the years roll by, you find out that it's money well spent, having these professionals in your corner guiding you to acquire it.
Thank you for sharing your It's been a pleasure being Thank with you, Remy. Well, we just listened to the experts there, expertise advice from Sabio Lumidi Adirebu, which has educated us on the very sensitive issue of acquiring land. For those of us who are still desiring to buy our own parcels of land for whatever purposes, we just had that, that it's important to ensure that we get the land surveyor who will coordinate all the professionals to ensure that we acquire land legally towards getting the vital documents that shows that it is truly ours. Thanks for watching. The program continues in a moment. Stay with us.
Now we know that acquiring land is more than just seeing a parcel somewhere and paying for it. You must know the status of that parcel of land, government proposed plans, the original owner and utilize the land surveyors and other professionals towards obtaining the relevant documents. Till we bring you another edition next Saturday. Bye for now. I am Remy Oladendi.